What's up YouTube, it's Kyle here. Welcome back to my channel. Check this out. All right, what you see here is a Proline uh, High Banker Dredge Combo, two inch. So I got that set up. Uh, I did all this plumbing. It looked different earlier. I'm still tweaking with it. I got two marine batteries. One is running a 1100G pH pump and uh, I got two 800s in this bucket running off that battery. And then uh, as you see here, I, uh, I didn't connect this sluice, I just have it laying under. This is a Keen A52 Super Sluice um, without the rock classifier on it, without the expanded metal. I just wanted to put it here because it's big indicator mat to see if we lose any gold so and i did bring the bucket from home um i was trying to upload a video last night but it was like so long and it causing problems on my computer but hopefully it doesn't happen again but anyways there yeah uh, i'm working today um i think someone was talking about it on the in the comment section because I was working this crack right here. Th that's gonna be the video before this. Um, but yeah, that tree right in the middle. And then there's big boulders. So I'll probably just work all along this area, along this rock and get up in between these roots. But anyways, I'm gonna mess around with this uh, little high banker now, run the material that I already grabbed from last time, and uh, we'll see how it goes today. Seems to be running pretty nice. I don't know if I told you this or not, but I have a black V-mat under uh, that classifier under there. V-mat running in here with miner's moss on top, the green carpet, and V-mat. All right, I guess I'm gonna start working this area, take all the large rocks out, and then start uh, hand dredging right into the high banker.
All right, guys, I'm just going to do a test pan here. See what we got going on. All right, let's see if there's any gold in here. This is all under that piece of bedrock I moved. Flip her back. It's so crazy. There's like millions and millions and millions of pieces of micro dust. I don't know how I'm gonna catch that though. Gold cube. <laughs> Looking for arrowheads up here and cool quartz specimens. Uh oh. All right, let's get another bucket. There's a little gravel bar right here along uh, this bedrock. I'm already down to it. It's gonna get the stuff on the bottom, and then we'll run it. A piece of tile.
All right. Here we go. I got this broom. I'm going to sweep everything I can in one corner. And hopefully get some gold. Stuff is looking really good, guys. Oh, yeah. Found a super low spot right here. I'm guessing that's where all the gold is. Working over here now, I decided to stay in one spot. I think I'm just going to do this whole area right here. I'm gonna try to get through all these roots. Got a big root ball in the, the header box right now. But uh, yeah, there's a big boulder right here and I'm sure that gold just wraps around and just stays right here. But yeah, the gear is running nice. I just threw this thing together real quick. Just so I could uh, uh, move more material down here. And so I didn't have to classify, classify, classify because of my clay claw. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping uh, we get some good gold at the end of this. But I'm going to keep digging. I just shut the unit off for a couple seconds, looked in that top mat, and we got some gold. I'm pretty excited about the clean out. She's running nice. Trying to loosen up all this material in here. Get the hand dredge in there. Get all that stuff.
Yikes. Some of these roots in here. Roots are always good. Nice gold trap. All right, guys, I have uh, another bucket, um, and I'm working under this big old rock over here. I'll show you guys here in a minute. I have this big old root ball I need to clean out. Really big root ball. You know there's gold in this. Let's let that wash out for a minute. Good. Yeah, so this huge boulder right here, there's another one in front of it, right there. I was digging behind this one, but there's a ledge 
right here, so it'd make more sense to dig here. So I'm just gonna hand dredge as much as I can until I get to the bottom. I actually just found a crack in this sped rock right in front of this rock. It's awesome. Root ball. All right, guys, this is going to be the last bucket. All right, here we go. We'll do a clean out after this. Take this, uh, Play claw off. We'll let her run for a little bit. Looks like we got a clog down here. What do you guys think? Should we clean her out? I think so. Alrighty. I'm gonna shut the pumps off. Boom. And we have no more water. Now we get to look for visible gold. <laughs> It doesn't feel too bad. Looks good. Got a nice panful.
All right, guys, here we go. There's a crazy amount of black sand. There's a piece of gold right there. I think it's gonna be a good one, guys. Pretty much down to the heavies. Just getting them blinds off. I see a lot of black sand. All right, I think one more little blind swoop and I'm gonna flip it back. <clears throat> Holy black sands. Oh my gosh. Look at all that lead. I just put it back real quick and that's what I see so far. It's looking good, guys. A ton of black sands and lead. Okay, well, I'm going to, I guess, sit here and snuff out every piece of gold in here and then show you guys some gold and then pack up. I think I got it all. Yep. We are good to go. Alright guys, there it is. Little pile of Missouri gold. Did not get skunked. It's pretty sweet, huh? I'll try to put a macro lens on it so we could see it a little bit better. I gotta hold this out of my fingers. Nice gold. Oh man, if only lead was gold. Alrighty guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going home to uh, go upload this. And uh, as always, I will see you on the next adventure.